Uh, Guten Erev Shabbos, my dear friends. This week, Parshas Nasoi, it is the 12th day of Sivan this Shabbos, which is the last day of the Tashlumim, the making up for the days of the Shavuot, the holiday of giving of the Torah. So Johnny walks in Monday morning into the office, makes himself a cup of coffee, sits down by the desk. A colleague walks by carelessly and spills the coffee all over. Johnny is besides himself. At lunchtime, they have a break, they go to pray Mincha, and the rabbi sees Johnny is out besides himself. He asks what, what happened, so he tells him what happened. So the rabbi asks Johnny, why did a coffee spill? So he tells him, because the guy was careless. But the rabbi says, but why did the coffee spill? The coffee spilled because the cup was filled with coffee. If there was tea in the cup, then tea would spill. If there was water in the cup, water would spill. You see, whatever you put inside your cup, that's what spills out. In the portion of the week, we read about the counting of the families of the Levi that we continue from last week. God says to Moshe to count the families of Levi separately. And the Torah says, Nasai esroish b'nei gershom gam heim. Count the family of Gershom, them too. Literally, Nasa means lift up. Esrosh b'nei gershom, the cup of the family of Gershon, Gam Hain, them too. Rashi says, what does it mean, them too? And he explains, just like I commanded you with the family of Kehat. So what's the point here? So the Rebbe explains, the family of Kehat, they carried the holy ark that had in it the tablets, the Torah. The family of Gershon, they carried other parts of the Mishkan, of the temple, the curtains, other things. And Hashem says to Moshe, count them too. Nasoi Ezraish, lift them up just like the people of Kahat. The message is that when you're filled like the people of the Kahat that carry the Torah within them, this elevates you. Nasa Yisroish elevates your head. And that has an effect on every other part as well. If your cup, the cup in Yiddish is the head. If your cup is filled with the Torah, if your life is filled, a Torah life, a positive life, this is what spills out. And this has an effect on the, on the rest of the year. Shabbat Shalom. And hope to see you in Shul tomorrow.